Hello, everybody, and welcome in. I'm Christine Frog, and today we're going to talk about FTB quests, specifically creating loot tables for your quest lines. Now, I've searched long and hard on YouTube and other sources, and it's so hard to find information on this, but it's right in front of your face, and you don't even know it, and I didn't even know it, so <laughs> let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is make sure you're in editing mode for FTB quests. You can do this by command, FTB quests, editing mode, true, or you can also go into your quest log and also down here and click on this little writer. And now you are in or out of the editing mode. Once you're inside editing mode and you've created a quest line, let's say we want to do an item. Once you found an ax, click accept. We can go into that ax. A quick little tip on here is you can make it any ax by converting the tag item then you can go to Forge Axes. And now any axe at all in the game from Forge is going to qualify for that loop. And now you're good. And we're gonna go ahead and say complete instantly. Thank you. Now, when you add rewards, you have a lot of options, but you'll notice that for the loop tables and the random loop tables that there's nothing there. There's no options just yet. So what you're gonna do when to add that in is you're gonna come down here to settings, click on that, go to reward tables. And here you are gonna add in your reward tables based on the mods that you have installed on your server. So for us, we have Farmer's Delight. So let's say Farmer's Delight Common Crate. And now we can create a common crate. The first thing you wanna do is right click on that and say loot crate. So there we go, Farmer's Thing. Loot crate, it's not necessary, but it does make sure that you have more options later on for actually using this. So let's go ahead and hit edit. And every time you make a change, make sure that you're always hitting accept. It's gonna drop you back out to the main menu, but it's important that you do this because if you don't, what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna end up not saving your stuff eventually. So let's go to settings. We're gonna change the icon for this uh, one, for the common crate. We'll say it's empty basket for common crate. And there we go. And that should be set. We're gonna add an item in here. So let's go ahead and add a farmer's light item. Now this is a common crate, so it's not too beneficial. Let's say a beef patty. And I think you should add at least five items personally. Um, that's up to you, but uh, you know, uh, I would add five in, so let's go ahead and add that. We've added the beef patty. Let's go ahead and add in some smoked ham. And as you go up on this rewards table, things are gonna get more and more rare that you're actually gonna get these items, right? So keep that in mind as well. Say barbecue on a stick. So let's go with three items for now, just to show the even distribution of how this works. You have a one weight on all of them, which means they all have an equal uh, chance of being spawned in when the player accepts them. Now, before we do anything else, hit accept, go back in. This is safe now, no matter what, those three items are gonna be there. So let's right click on this, set weight. Now this is out of 100. So let's say we want this to be an 80% chance that they're gonna get that. And for this guy right here, we want it to be a 15% chance, and this one, we want it to be a 5% chance. Now you see here, 80%, 15%, and 5% chance based on the weights. The only thing is, is these are still one item. So before we do anything else, we're gonna accept and go back in, make sure we save everything. Beef patty. For the most common loot, let's say we wanna give them eight beef patties, but also give them an option, random bonus, where they can also earn or have a chance to get an additional 10. And we're gonna click accept. It's not gonna show on here yet, but if we hit accept and go back in, we can now see that they have a chance, an 80% chance to get eight to 18 beef patties. Very good. And again, these are more rare, so we're also going to give them a little bit more uh, special bonuses. Let's say here, they have a chance to get 15. 
and 5. Because this is also a lot better, except go back in, we can see they have 15 to 20% chance to get, I mean 15 to 20 smoked ham on a 15% chance. Barbecue as well, edit, we can say again, let's say they get 20 barbecue on a stick and they have a chance to get additional 10. Very rare that you're gonna get that many or even get it at all, but we want it to be beneficial to them. Again, these are all things you could change, but now we have this, it is here. We have Farmer's Delight Loot Crate. If we come here, we can add Loot Reward, Farmer's Delight, and now it's here. If I click on this, let me clear my inventory real fast. If I would go in here and click on this, we can see that I got indeed 15 beef patties. And that is how you do random loot. I hope that this has helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions at all about FTB quests or anything in modded at all, please drop some comments down below and I'll see what I can do. Um, I'm no, no expert on FTB quests, but I do feel like there is a gap in content for it. And so if you have any questions for it, I'll be glad to make some more videos later. Bye bye.